Minasan konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And um, this <coughs> afternoon we are unboxing the Perfect Grade Gundam Astray Red Frame. Once again, you do not want to know how much we did not pay for this build. <laughs> yeah. If so, if you watched our our Wing Zero Custom video that we just did, um, that's the that's the original Toys R Us. Yeah. Uh, this is how much it. That's... Actually, that's not um, yen. What? I don't think. No, P one one nine nine nine. I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, it, it it we we got these basically eighty percent off, which was really cool. Um, so I saw them and had to get them uh, because I wanted to get both of them uh, for a while, but you know they're very expensive. So eighty percent off, you can't really turn that down. Uh, anyway, <laughs> yes. Uh, anyway, um, if you haven't seen the Wing Zero build uh, or uh, unboxing, check it out. Um, now we're going to unbox this red frame. I am super excited. I've the, never actually built this one before. The letters on red frame are foiled. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're foiled, embossed even. Embossed foil. Yeah, they're embossed foil. Uh, this is one of those boxes you feel bad about for a while. Yeah, yeah. So, um, this one actually, like the unicorn, this one has a handle. Mm -hmm. Um, the Wing Zero is not. So you can march with pride out of the toy store with it? Yes. Okay. Alright. Here's the red frame. Let's toss these books and to the side. And this is also a perfect grade, so this is intensity, right? Yes, yeah, this is this is as intense as gun plug yet. Um, basically. And so you have your little <laughs> guard thing right there. Even that's highly decorated. Right? Yeah, yeah. The box itself is really well organized and really put, well put together. This is one that has been opened before and yeah. fussed with a little bit, but the yeah. bags have not been opened. Yeah. Um, <coughs> it looks like somebody opened it, took one look inside, and was like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> I, I ain't got the got time. Yeah. All right, so let's pop this open a when little bit. When are you going to build that stupid thing taking up all that shelf space? Yeah, don't be silly. People that buy perfect grades don't have wives. Mm. Oh, I didn't assume that was a wife. Okay. Could have been a mom. Okay. Husband. Polycaps. Lots of them. Um, red polycaps. Red polycaps, because it's the red frame. Sure, uh, anything right? that's exposed needs to yeah. needs to be colored right. If it's a frame, it's got to be red. Yeah. Well, there's also a PG blue frame, but... But then it would be a blue frame, and then correct. All right, um, and here's our diecast pieces. Um, a couple of them. I, there might be more. Um, these are super fucking heavy, um, and I, I don't actually know where they go. It looks like maybe parts of the waist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, which might actually support it in like splits or something like that. But don't we worry, have, we'll find out. Yeah, we will find out. These are these are heavy ass diecast pieces. <laughs> Rule number one, once you build an astray, you must see if it can do a hand. <laughs> yes. Um, all right. Here's our gold. Um, this is for the Gerbera Street, the um, katana that the web, or the yeah, red frame has. And there we go. We have J.J. Abrams shot. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at that lens flare. <clears throat> and so, yeah, the, the scabbard, the sword itself, um, and the hilt here, or the, the I don't know pommel? what it's called, pommel. I don't know. Um, Handguard. Tang. Murder. Uh, no, no, no. That's the that's the silver part. Okay. So anyway, <laughs> it's a bunch of shit here. Um, so cool shit. Pretty pretty shit. Uh, and look at look at that detail there. Look at that detail. Yeah, yeah. That's gorgeous. Okay. So there's that. <laughs> so now. The other red was a real cherry red. Doesn't look it, like it on camera, but in actuality, this is a cranberry. Yeah. A really gorgeous... And this is our hard ABS plastic. Yeah, like a deep blue undertoned red. Yeah, I got like a crimson effect going on. More chrome! Oh, yeah. And these are these are like support pins and stuff like that. These will expose themselves whenever it's um, <laughs> bent, um, whenever its joints are bent, that sort of thing. And that's actually more like a gunmetal. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty stuff. Absolutely. And that's the plating. Um, yeah, that's a plating. 
It looks like a little higher quality than the older ones, but it's, it's you know, still plated. still plated. Okay, here's our grays, our whites, our headpiece. And this is definitely in the gray white. Right? Yeah, it is. It is a bit of a gray white. Um, and then, you know, our really faint green um, transparent pieces. Minty. Yes, very mint. <coughs> oh! Green. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't know why that is. If you know, put it in the answer. Yeah, if you know, let us know. Um, it's not a thing that I've ever considered. I mean, somebody explained to us why there was the cow, so... Yeah. Oh, and, yeah, in, um... <laughs> turn A. Turn A. Yeah. So here's our sort of almost blackish... Mm -hmm. Is that the feet? Yeah, those are feet. Mother and God. backpack. Okay, and this <laughs> is waist. Or this is actually the crotchal region. And the crotch is also a cranberry. Yeah, yeah. And these are skirts. Look at the tubes. <laughs> the the pipes on the skirts yeah, are really pretty. And you'll never see them because they're the backside of the skirt. <laughs> but but know they're there. Be comforted. So you know, the Wing Zero Custom doesn't actually come with stickers. I was wondering that. Um, I think there's actually a, a sticker kit that Bandai sells for it. Mm -hmm. we'll I think I've seen it at Yodobashi Camera. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, these are pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> My Gundam purchases tend to inform a lot of her lipstick purchases. Dear Bandai, please create a series of nail polishes that match your various Gundam. Thank you, me. Yeah. It would sell. <laughs> it would so sell. <coughs> I mean, I guess that's not No, it's not what. Well, I usually use acrylic paint, but... Yeah. Oh, look at that. There's our beam saber with glitter on the inside. That is a fat beam saber. Yeah, it's pretty. That's what she said. And more of those crimson frame pieces. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a red frame astray. What do we expect? Mm -hmm. Lots of red. But there's going to be degrees of red. Which yeah, there's a lot of different degrees of red here. God damn. The bags are intense. And we have white. Basically, the white on the red frame tends to just like sort of wrap around the frame. It exposes really well. Okay. And we have some screws here and some wire support pieces. Not as many as in the perfect grade, but then again, it doesn't have wings or the the RG, yeah. yeah. Or the um. Oh, oh, the the Wing Zero Custom, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there, that okay. beef in. So this is not the cranberry color. No. This is a brighter cherry red. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you can see Distinct that. difference. <clears throat> yeah, this is beautiful. So the white and the black and the shades of red, really it looks like a skinless corpse, you know? Yeah, and then here we have our hands. These are RG style hands, or you know, PG style hands, but yeah. they're very similar. They're already precast in in, in their the joints. Red and white. Look at that. Yeah, in the red and white. This is not two pieces stacked on top of each other. No, no, no. You're just gonna snap this out, um, and basically, fidget with it a little yeah, bit. you fidget with it and you twist it into place, <laughs> and then it's a full hand. And then also you have your um, your knives here, which are that is single so piece. Damn cool. Yeah, they're 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 cast together, so you never have to worry about it. And then you have your face, just like the other. Um, it's got the eyes are already pre-transparent um, with the red around it. Um, so if you put something foiled behind it or whatever, you'll be able to see it. Mm -hmm. um, or you know, in the case of lights. Mm. And we have our shield. Mm -hmm. Pilot low. Um, he's actually in a space suit, unlike Hiro, who pilots naked. Um, That's the new Gundam, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever the new series is, it's just got the, the kid pilots running around shirtless. I think. Or uh, young men, I should say. Yeah. And then here's some more polycap pieces. Some nice big PG polycap cap. Yeah. Um, tops, or here's our feet. 
The wing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The wing's got something to prove. Yeah. some white pieces, um, leg pieces, um, skirts, that sort of thing. And then in here, that is, um, looks like padding. I'm not sure what that is, um, but I'll find out. We'll let you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's stickers with what looks to be foam padding, so. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, not sure. It looks like the kind of things that you would get like with furniture um, right. to keep them from hitting the ground. Maybe it's traction for the feet. That's possible. That'd be cool. Yeah. I like sneakers. <coughs> I mean, they really could use it because this is um this one doesn't have a stand or anything like that. It's it's a very agile mobile suit. So okay, more red frame. <laughs> I'm, I'm seeing the butter knife is stuck in here. Oh God! Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, those are pieces of the scabbard. Lovely, lovely stuff. And then the rest of our shield, more DNA skirts, strands. that sort of stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, those are for the side of the scabbard. They, oh, they're right. like the wrapping around right. it. Our other beam saber. Mm -hmm. And we have more frame pieces. Here's like our back here. Um, yeah, this is a real big, sturdy kit. It's like a little tank. We have our decals, our stickers here. Lots of them, lots of them. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> our beam rifle. It looks like it's going to have um, accent pieces, which are probably going to be white. Um, on there, mm. but these are pretty solid just like the ones on the wing mm. Here's the primary scabbard pieces They are very big um, And there's low our pilot Hi, oh, low. Right here Hi. Yeah. See if we can get that detail. It's actually a really nice one and then underneath we have his pilot form without his spacesuit so I was, I was just criticizing him for having a helmet like a wuss. But here he does not. You can just see his spiky ass hair. <coughs> How do you know he's an anime character if you don't have spiky ass hair? Right. And then we have our last red frame pieces here. The camera has given up on autofocusing. I know. What the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Sorry. All right. And again, if you watch this show and your mom and dad get mad, we will send a letter of apology. Yeah. Just no, seriously. Unless you're like over 30 and your mom and dad are mad. Yeah, that would be, case, that would that's be weird. That's your problem. I can't help you there. Okay, and so we have here um, a plastic tube. Not sure what that's for. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll find out. Um, and here, of course, is the um, Gravera Strait. This is um, ridiculous the signature weapon of the Red Frame Astray. It is a katana that is built um, to mobile frame, or sorry, mobile suit um, scale. <laughs> yes, um, why not? Yeah, and it, and it's got its nice, um, you know, beaten into effect mm, effect. Right. It's not it's not symmetrical. It's not patterned. The, it looks very organic. Um, and it's pretty as hell. Yeah, there's lens flaring on and the side of a bitch. Check out the, the, down on the tang there, the, yeah. there's like the kanji are intricately detailed. And this is a thing you'll never see. You'll never see because it's inside it's, of the handle. Yes, it's literally inside of the handle. You'll never see it. But it's there and it's fucking pretty. Um, so there's. Because details matter. Guys. Yeah, there's our giant sword. Um, and then in here we have a manga. Which is what the astray is from. Yes, the the astray is from the um, Seed vs. Astray um, manga. Um, and they um, they actually had a couple of short anime 
um, that were like direct to video type things. Uh, but um, uh, OVI, OVI, whatever. Uh, OVI, or OVA, OVA. Aww. Um. So anyway, they're for, yeah, they're from the manga. Um, and that's, like, ironically, the, the sword here, this is actually not the biggest sword that the Red Frame uses, <laughs> um, in the manga. Um, there's one that's, like, you know, 30 times his size, too. It's kind of absurd. Like, that's not absurd. It's all about perspective. There's nothing wrong with our son screaming in the background. That's just how he says he's happy. Yeah. Okay, so here is our sticker guide. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> This is going to take you a while. It is. It I am is. always excited when you get models that are going to take you a while. That is so pretty. Look at the way that they antiqued it. Yeah. Yeah, you have to do that. And they're like, oh, there are others. The instruction books are beautiful. They, they really are. They're works of art. Here's a mess. Yeah. Ah. Comparison of the rear body plugs for the, the Strike Gundam and the Red Frame. The Astray Genealogy chart. Wow. That is cool. It shows <laughs> the. Rolling some deep nerd shit. Yeah, it shows the full um, evolution of the Astrays. All of the beautiful blue Astrays. There's our frame. <coughs> That's what he would look like naked. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, paint that. <laughs> paint that guy. Yeah. I mean, I know there are people who do and can. They ain't me. And then here's our manual. So that was the instruction manual. This is the construction manual. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So what do you think is going to take longer, this or the, um... The oh, wing? the wing, this. Yeah. Yeah, this is way more parts. Although the wing has a lot more, like, screws and shit, so it might actually take longer. Which one are you going to do first? Probably this. Yeah. I'm, I and really, I really, really like my frames. red frames, yeah. And that's good, because you're never going to get those runners back in that box. The shame of this <laughs> is that I don't think it has lights. Yeah. Which is really sad. Um, it's a really, really beautiful kit. I really kind of wish it had them. Mm. Um, I guess it, it only really has the, the eyes, though. It doesn't have a, like a glowy heart chest piece kind of thing. No, it doesn't. I, I, all I really want is the eyes to glow. Mm. Oh, I think I know how you could do it. Uh, probably. Um, let's see. Mm. Oh, wait, it does. CR1220. We're going to get so many watch batteries. Yeah. CR120. Okay, I can do that. Um, so I have to actually get two different kinds of watch batteries for this. Um, one for this and one for the wing. Okay. <clears throat> I think I accidentally caught your brutal knife fight. Uh, knife Wound. Oh, yeah, it's pretty awful. Sorry about that. It's cool. All right, so there we go. Um, there is the um, Astray, the red frame. I'm going to try to put this back in the box real quick. We'll <laughs> see if that works. <coughs> It'll be easier to get toothpaste back in the tube. Right. But if you have a tip for getting toothpaste back in a tube, let us know in the comments. <laughs> I suppose if we preserve the packaging and yeah, fuck it. No, it'll fit. It'll fit fine. They give us plenty of extra space Look this time at around. That. It's like a miracle. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Um, so we can get that thing back on. CR one two twenty is our battery. And then slide in here. You're going to take this out again in 10 minutes. Shh. <laughs> Five minutes. I'll, seriously, I'll start counting as soon as I'm done recording. Okay, we'll go back in there. 
fine. <laughs> there we go. There's the red frame. Lord. Perfect grade. It's not going to stay in there anyway. So, um, yeah. Um, if you haven't liked our channel, subscribed to our channel, all that shit, um, do so. Um, and matinee. Matinee.